able to open these doors because in the world that we live in, so I uh, I introduce you myself in my language, Anishinaabwe. I'm not by any means a language speaker, but I'm a language learner. And uh, and the reason I introduce myself in my language is because our languages were uh, uh, forgotten for many generations, taken in fact, really, right? If you've seen stuff in the news, sometimes like taken from us. I want our ancestors, those who have traveled before us, and I want our descendants, my grandson, I want his grandchildren to hear those words in that language, right? From our team's perspective is to remind each one of you how significant it is that you're in the pathways. There are lots of reasons, and we're going to hear some of them today, about why you joined this program. The reality is that your presence in pathways is you're creating an opportunity and a different path forward for yourself. What can Pathways do to help youth know that they belong in the program? Make them feel at home. How do you think they could do that? Do you have any ideas? Help them find things that they're interested in. Cool. My question for you is how do you want other uh, kids to see Pathways, like maybe who aren't in it on the outside? How do you think they want to see it? As an opportunity to do different things that like you may have thought you'd never do. Like this, I never thought I'd come. So would you tell like other kids like about this yeah. experience in particular? Yeah. Uh, could you give us like a couple examples of ways that your school or community helps pathway students feel like they're important? Um, by making activities that they can like relate to or like that. What's your favorite activity based on so far? Um, I think it's about grooming and uh, talking about like jobs and all that. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and it really helped me with my future like goals. Cool. Yeah, Has anyone, has anyone ever had a conversation with other young people and adults listening to them about COVID so far in your life? No. Like this? I don't remember. No. Not in a circle, but at my house, yeah. Yeah, like at your house, yeah. yeah. Not in... You have my word that uh, our team is going to keep fixing that. I didn't know really anything about it, but I was excited to have two weeks off of school. Yeah. And then it kept going downhill. When I went back to school the next year, it was like online, so it was really de demotivating. I was failing the class. Like going back to school was like so like we didn't even go back. But then the next year, it was like all online and stuff, and it was like a big change, and it like had a big impact on your mental health as well. Well, for people who struggle with their mental health, and it was hard like. I just wasn't, I, I was not prepared for the life changes that were going to happen from it. And it was just big. And I found that really hard going between going in in-person classes and then going online and it was always going back and forth. But then this year has been really good. It sucked that we didn't have tutoring, for example, in person. It was yeah. always online and people that aren't so good with technology. <laughs> and it's hard for me to like show them the questions I need to do. Like chemistry, I have to like write down the longest equation, type it into the chat. Oh. That would take my entire tutoring hour yeah. and it sucked.
The reality is that you have an expertise that none of us have. And so tonight, we want to start off our evening with activities. We're going to uh, we're going to have a chance to learn from you as experts. I think Pathways is a pretty good program. It's helped me out. It's helped me out a lot over the course of grade nine, and probably will continue to help me with high school. I've enjoyed the programs they provide, the cooking, the climate resilience program, which is interesting. And uh, my only complaint is that the hours are sometimes not great for my schedule because I'm often busy right after school. So if pathways ran a little bit later, that would be helpful for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A couple of things that I would want to see more in pathways would be, um, like my pathways personally, would be more um, trips, not trips necessarily, but activities with um, all students to enhance that family feeling because after COVID, that kind of um, is it dissipated. I don't think pathways personally, my pathways need to, need to change. Um, like Lexi said, it's all pretty organized and stuff and they're on duty of helping and stuff so if i had to say anything we're doing a good job it's nice to know that people are actually there to help people like with work or anything they need probably more advertisement because i didn't know they had hours i didn't know they had an instagram until like a week ago <laughs> and they like, had like uh like an event going on the day I found it. So if they would like advertise their socials or where they're going more, that'd be nice. I understand correctly. Are there three high school, high school graduates in the circle tonight? I think it's fair to say others may have heard this as well that it's a big deal that like you being in pathways is important to you. Yeah. How does it make you feel when you've got the supports that you get from pathways? It makes me feel good. I feel worthy of something. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's true. Because pathways is huge impact has had a huge impact so far and probably will still have a huge impact on how my life is going how my education is going and attending a meeting like this means my voice is heard my my thoughts about the program are heard and respected um, honestly they kind of you know they go slow because i have really bad anxiety um, and so they take it slow and let me walk out of my comfort zone so that they need to. That's awesome. You know, being with my SPW, she creates an environment that I feel comfortable enough to go to her if I need to talk to someone, especially because I don't like talking about my feelings. But with her, I feel comfortable enough to go to someone, even if it's the smallest bit. And knowing that there's someone that actually is willing to listen, it's a good feeling. Um, my highlight is when I went to my first hockey game, um, it was my first ever hockey game because my neighbors wouldn't take me, and this one. Uh, for me, I would definitely say that even though we graduate high school, I would love to see a little support, maybe in, in, in like, uh, in regards of like tutoring, mentorship, 
um, for students in their first year since it's still a big gap between high school and university. So just that first year, having a little bit more support is something I would definitely love to see. Um, this is my drawing. This is me and this is the road that I have to go down to get to where I want to go with the stops along the way. One of them is finishing high school and having to take the classes that I need like bio, chem, and physics. This one painting and it means that I would like to go into construction and the steps to get there is that I have to finish high school and the support needed is that I have to do certain classes in school like woodwork and stuff. We need you to know that you're not alone. And the reason you're not alone is that you matter in this world. And these people in this space, and the people in the spaces back home, your programs, they know you matter. And you significantly matter in this space, but you matter in this world. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is that you're important. And, and here's a secret. Importance isn't attached to the things you achieve or the things you do. It's inherent just in you being you. You are just simply important. And your ideas and your experiences are just simply important. You are the experts, that's why you're there. It's not just something to say at an event. You're important. And I have a feeling like all, I think everyone on both sides of this sort of conversation has felt like you don't belong at some point. We live in a world that's filled with judginess, right? It's filled with crappiness sometimes. Because other people who aren't feeling great about themselves put that on others. Does that sound familiar? And here's the secret, sometimes we do that as well. We're human beings. But the truth is that each one of you matters so much in this world. You're important and you belong. You belong in this world and you certainly have demonstrated that you belong in this space to help shape the future for others like you.